Okay, what we have here is four three amp hour batteries, um, six cell, a i charger 308 duo, set up with the batteries on channel two and a resistive load on channel one. This is essentially the uh, converted ten dollar hair dryer from Target. Um, this is a Fluke amp probe uh, that will be reading amp on this meter here and this meter is connected to a thermocouple that is measuring the uh, Fahrenheit degrees coming out of the hairdryer resistive load and these batteries are all fully charged and we're gonna attempt to discharge them at maximum capacity of 33 volts 30 amp regenerative uh, cross-channel discharge into the resistive load and see if we can get it to go to maximum power. Uh, the first run I determined that the input voltage, uh, input power to the eye charger was insufficient. Um, what I'm finding out is that uh, the amount of cross discharge power that you are attempting to discharge to the resistive load, um, it requires approximately one-fourth of that same amount of power from the input side of your power supply. So I've got this connected to a um, constant current power supply set to 11 amps and maximum of 28.5 volts. Uh, the eye charger can handle up to 30. So, um, And we're starting it now. Oh, let's turn the amp up. Probe on would be good. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see the uh, temperature is going up and the uh, amperage is going up. And it seems to have stopped at 650 watts. And I'm not sure why. Um, about 150 degree output on the hair dryer. Theoretically, this should go another 150 watts, up to approximately 800 watts, and I'm not sure why it's not going further. Internal temperature is 105 Fahrenheit. Uh, on the load side it's running about approximately 24.7, uh, 24 and a half volts and uh, about 26.5 amps. Um, I tested the load on this and it was about 0.98 ohms which jives with everything that we're seeing here so it looks like uh, it's not going beyond 650 watts so anyway um need to do some more investigation too.